This is James of Bond with James, and this is the food chain and food web card sort activity. This one is specifically the rainforest forest version. However, there is a desert version, a savanna version, a Arctic version, a temperate forest version, and a temperate grassland version. And I've also bundled all those together to offer as a single uh, bundled product. The way this works, depending on the set, the color will vary. So for the rainforest, I did sort of a green theme. Additionally, while not necessary, I printed these in color. However, you can always print in grayscale. Also, depending on the set, the number of cards will vary. Um, anywhere between 18 cards and maybe 28 cards. If you notice, there's the organism name. Again, the border will just depend on whatever set that um, you are utilizing. There are energy arrows, so I have the large versions going in both directions. There's also the smaller versions of the energy arrows going in, again, opposite directions. And then there are some vocabulary terms, so autotroph, heterotroph, and then the different types of heterotrophs in terms of how organisms attain their energy. And then just the different levels of, um, as you go up, like the energy pyramid. So for example, producer, primary consumer, tertiary, secondary, etc. Now, one of the things that I did is I laminated these and I put a piece of magnetic tape on the back because many of the classrooms in our district have magnetic whiteboards. And so it's a great way for, as a teacher, to put these up on the whiteboard if I'm talking about a particular topic or introducing this to the students. Or I can have students come up and they can use the whiteboard and place these on. Again, all the pieces here have the, a little strip of magnetic tape to place on. As a teacher, it's up to you how you want to do this. You can, I would recommend groups of four. If you have the different sets, so again, if you have the desert set, the rainforest set, savanna set, temperate forest, temperate grassland, arctic set, you could technically print out each version and give each group a different biome, if you will, so that way they can sit there and sort it out and you know create different food chains or different food webs and then conduct a gallery walk where students go around and they observe. Or if you want to, you can give all groups the same set and you can have them generate a, again, a food chain or food web and they could still go around and they can compare their food web or food chain with other groups if they're given the same set. Again, there are multiple ways that you can do this. You can start off slow, and I'm not going to have enough room to do here, but I can show some of the videos that I've created. Um, I'm just going to do a little circular one real quick. So this is a simple food chain. You can have students create one and then have some questions on there concerning the food chain. This activity also comes with sort of, and it's not an answer key, if you will, it's just a list of the organisms and the type of organisms that they eat. Again, there are multiple ways that students can generate a food chain or food web, and so there's not a real answer for this. And so again, it's all about, you know, as a teacher, facilitating a discussion around what they generated or having them write out the steps or why they thought to defend the reasoning. This is the food web and food chain card sort activity. As always, if you wish to subscribe to my videos, you can click on the subscribe button below the video or in the link in the upper left hand corner. As always, thanks for watching.